My name is Alistair Lee, and in this video, I'm going to walk through some of the changes to the rule editor in Adobe Experience Manager 6.3 Forms. The rule editor is what enables users to add logic to their forms. There's two different views to the rule editor, a visual editor that's ideal for non-technical users who can simply drag and drop form objects, logic, and functions directly onto the editor itself, as well as a code editor that's ideal for somebody who's familiar with scripting and programming. We've improved both of them, so let's take a look at some of those improvements now. I'm going to start by selecting my root panel here and then choosing the rule editor. You can see I've already started to edit some JavaScript. So let me open this up. And right away, you'll notice some improvements in the way the JavaScript looks. We've added syntax highlighting. You'll notice auto indentation as I move to the next field. We've even incorporated the comments from the previous line. And as I start typing some of the objects on my field, you'll notice I've got the ability to auto complete that text. As I click the dot, I can see all of the different properties and methods associated with that object. And I can either use my mouse or the keyboard to automatically select something like that. You'll also notice that we're able to validate the JavaScript dynamically. So as we're writing our code, it's automatically being validated. So I've got some JavaScript here that's automatically going to fetch an IP address for me. I'm going to click Done. We're going to take a look at some of the improvements to the visual editor as well. First, you'll notice as I navigate to one of the drop-down list boxes, for example, province, and create a new rule. Let's switch over here to the visual editor. As I select something like is equal to, the visual code editor now automatically prompts me with all of the different options that are available. Again, making it easier, especially for a non-technical user, to write code. So if I want to create an if statement around the province equaling British Columbia, I can easily add a condition to that. That's true of drop-down list boxes. It's also true of radio buttons. And so if you're using a radio button, I'll click Create here and go into our visual editor. It automatically pre-populates the different options available in the radio button. In addition to pre-populating all of this content for non-technical users, we've also added the ability to add web services directly to the rule editor itself. Let me show you what I mean. I've got this IP address here that we're using to populate an IP address. I'm going to take that IP address and look up the country based on that. So using nothing more than the visual editor, I'm going to choose my IP address. We'll look at when the IP address has changed. In other words, when we've added a value to it, and then we'll invoke an action. In this case, we're going to use the invoke service action. And I'm going to paste a WSDL, a web service, directly into the rule editor itself. Now, the rule editor goes out and finds the properties with that web service. In this case, get geo IP is the one I'm going to want to use. And now I can simply drag and drop some values into these fields. I'm going to do that by opening my sidebar and dragging the IP address itself as the value for our input, then dragging the country as the value for our output for the country code and clicking done. So we're now able to incorporate web services directly into the rule editor. If I hit close, we can test this form out by clicking preview. You'll notice that the form automatically fetches my IP address and pre-populates the country. One of the other abilities we've added in the rule editor, whether you're using the visual editor or the code editor, is the ability to easily disable rules as well. So if we go back to the rule editor here, select any of the objects on my form that have a rule on them, which I can see by the little green light on this object. I've now got the ability to click Disable to disable that rule temporarily or permanently, making it easier to test my forms. Those are some of the new features that we've added to the rule editor in Adobe Experience Manager 6.3 Forms. Thanks for your time.